Good morning, you're listening to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm in Atlanta at the Mannington Design Center, and I'm with Robbie Isaac, the Vice President of Design. Robbie, how you doing? I'm doing really well, Kim. That's good to see you. This is a beautiful place. We're in that area near the Atlanta Water Works. What, what do they call this in Atlanta? Uh, this would be considered West Midtown. This area specifically is called the Stockyards. Mm-hmm. And you've built this beautiful design center, and uh, t- tell us a little bit about it, if you would. It's uh, over about 100 years old, and we took the space and we worked with Corrigan and Associates out of Dallas, and they helped us create this vision or establish this vision for what we are trying to convey to the A&D community of who we are and who we want to be and where we're going. So, yeah, it's a beautiful space. We tried to be true to the materials and kept a lot of the original artifacts and pieces to the space, but we were able to put a lot of flavor with the new Mannington commercial development products in here. So, uh, Just to describe it real quick, since this is audio, it's got these beautiful high ceilings, which it looks like they've torn out the old, maybe lowered ceilings, and you see the duct work. I mean, I'm thinking maybe 15, 17 feet, and it's wide open. It does have a lot of columns that are antique-looking six-by-six pieces of wood. And, I mean, what a great place to showcase flooring. What do you guys primarily use this area for? We wanted this place to be multifaceted. We wanted to be able to obviously bring in customers and let them engage in the, the culture of Mannington. We wanted to let them really see who we were. And so we have a lot of customers and clients and guests coming in for mill visits. We'll use this as a place to you know, entertain as a launch pad before they go on our mill visits. We use it for a lot of client visits, including business meetings. But there's also other pieces to this. So we have a number of areas for meetings. So we do a lot of our senior leadership meetings here. And then we created a space that's entirely used for training and meeting purposes. So we have our sales reps come in for training. And then within the space, everywhere you can kind of walk, you have new product that can be shown. So we, we've been switching it out periodically. Tonight for our grand opening party, we changed out the pods to highlight some of the new launches that we put out in the fourth quarter. I'm trying to get a little bit of traction and buzz on those things. Mm-hmm. I see some herringbone <laughs> out there. That's a big trend right now. That, that is, that is. And then we also put some color out there because color is a big deal for us within these last few periods. And we know that it's, it's still a talking point within the design community. So we were able to kind of highlight some of these spaces with a lot of color. Is color going bold? Yeah. I think so. You know, I think it's going both ways. So some people want some of these softer, sort of muted colors, but then there are people that are asking for these bright, vibrant ones as well. Mm-hmm. I know Starnet met in the fall last year in Atlanta, and this thing was just opened up, and I believe they had a meeting here, didn't they? They did, yes. We have a lot of partners that are coming in and, you know, utilizing the space. They're using it for their own board meetings or, you know, their senior leadership meetings as well. We've been really able to connect with the local design community here in Atlanta as well as our, some of our vendor partners, and we're opening it up for that purpose. Now, you have a commercial kitchen in here, don't you? Yeah, so I think one of the greatest things about this space is that when guests come in, we want to be very welcoming, we want them to be comfortable. So you come in, you walk in, we have a barista bar where you can get your cappuccino. We can create the the setting for a really nice lunch or, or breakfast, and uh, the meetings can be really stress-free. Well, that's a hell of a coffee machine you got to have. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Did you see the IDA space that, that opened up last year? In Chicago? In Chicago. Yeah, I was just there Yeah, last week. You know, actually, this looks a lot like that. I mean, yeah, these glass so walls, cool. yeah. a big open area. Yeah, it's open. You know, you, uh, as you, you know, as you notice while you're walking through, there are a few walls, very open. Yeah. The transparency is there so that people can kind of connect. The hope is that as you walk into the space, there's a lot of activity. You see that there's good energy going on, and then you kind of vibe off of each other, so to speak, with projects going on, people just kind of conversing. There are a few offices here that we kind of use as as stations when people are commuting or if they're mobile. But, yeah, for the most part, we just want it to be very open and very conversational and communal. All right, so what have you been working on? You getting ready for Neocon? Absolutely, yes. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Our team's responsible for both hard surface and soft surface, so the plate is full, uh-huh. and it's all good. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Can yeah. you tease me with a little something, some, maybe something y'all going to be doing this year? So we are working on a collaboration. I think that's going to be one of our bigger highlights for the Neocon show. So we're getting into the throes of that. We'll be up in Chicago surveying the, the showroom, kind of tearing that apart a little bit Okay. soon. We've got a lot of internal development going on, a lot of really great products that we're building the narrative and the de- design development at the same time. Yeah. I mean, you say collaboration. I remember you were doing that textile <laughs> thing for a long time where you, you were letting young design people design things. Uh, can you tell me who you're collaborating with this year? So it's a little bit of a, a secret right okay. now, but um, you know, we're eventually a little bit outside of the A&D community, okay. trying to find somebody that's more art-focused. We found somebody that's really special. I think it's going to be somebody that a lot of the people in the creative design community are going to know and be uh, 
thrilled about, and they're going to look okay. at Manning differently. Yeah, oh, very nice. So you picked a, desi- a Dallas design firm to do this. Is it because you didn't want to pick any favorites here in Atlanta and pick one? Oh well, part of it is the relationship that we had with okay. the, with the group. And we've done some collaborations with the Corgan Group. Um, you know, they just do, do some beautiful work. The relationship was there, so we partnered with them. All right, great, Rob. It's good to catch up with you, and thanks for inviting us tonight. Again, been talking to Robbie Isaac, the Vice President of Design at Mannington Commercial at the grand opening event at his design center in Atlanta, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridaily.net.